In 2007, Tim Riley called me, my nephew, and said, would you like to go back to the opening game in Green Bay? Because I want to take Diane and the girls, Kate and Chelsea, have them see what that town is like and how much of a, the, the, the flavor of the town and the, the team and the, the tie-in that you don't find in any other city. No other city in the country has a team that, that has a town and a team that are so closely tied together. And you have to actually witness it. You have to go there to find out what it's like. So girls, it's up to you. What did you see? <laughs> It felt yeah. like a college town with like a, the big football team that everybody cheers for yeah. and uh, every street was Mike Holmgren way, Green Bay, Packers way, or Brett Favre way, Brett Favre Steakhouse. It was just like the team was just such a huge part of Fences the town. Fences were yellow and gold or oh. yellow and green and God, houses were yellow and green. It was <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to sit outside of the parking structure for the team after and I, I believe I sat there for about two hours waiting for Brett Favre yeah, I and then I was by the end of the two hours I was the only one there I was sitting there with a bunch of people I was the only one there and he drove out and looked at me and smiled and drove away and it was so depressing <laughs> that I didn't get an autograph but it was really exciting to see him and then a little bit later, we were taking a tour of the locker room and, or not the locker room, but inside the stadium and on the field. And we saw him in his car again. So that was pretty exciting um, since he's always been a, a hero and been a huge fan. So that was cool. That was my highlight. Yeah, that was fun. What was your highlight? Um, my highlight. I love walking down at the end of that tour when you walk down where the Packers uh, run out and they yeah. play the audio like pole. introducing your yeah. Green Bay Packers and you hear the crowd <sighs> and then being and able to go right up to the field yeah that was really cool but the game itself was just amazing I mean yeah. the energy in that stadium was and now having been to other team you know I'm not, not to bash the Niners but it just it wasn't people cheer and people love them but the energy was spectacular. It was amazing. Now, the more I think about it, the whole trip, everything about the trip was great. And, you know, if I really start thinking about it, like when we walked through the Hall of Fame and the, uh, the what was that? Where they had the the big statues of, like, the guy, or the, the yard star. The museum. Yeah. yeah. And we got to see all the old jerseys and the history, the history and just everything. That was so much fun, taking pictures and... It was, every part of the trip was great. Yeah. Well, it was good for me because I had, uh, born in Milwaukee, but, uh, and leaving Wisconsin to California at the age of six, but I'd taken 10, 15 trips back to Green Bay. And we had a lot of family in Green Bay. And my uncle, Fred, Aunt Lou, Aunt Tini, Uncle George, Aunt Maud, the Carpenters, I don't want to go through all that. But the point is, I, uh, I uh, hadn't been back in a long time, and I knew what Tim was looking for. I knew he was looking for the flavor of that town, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting town. And a typical Midwest, nice people, and a football town, Green Bay Packers through and through. Every restaurant we went to, Tidletown Restaurant, huh? Mm -hmm. And the one in uh, De Pere, where you got that great big piece of chicken. That was oh, yeah, that there. was huge. <laughs> Good. So as I say, it was great for me to go back with the girls and seeing them enjoy it for the first time. I'd been there before, but not like that. We all had a grand time. Yeah, it was fun. It was really cool learning about the history of the family also. And, you know, finding out that we still had family there and about my great grandpa. And that was incredible because I, I just didn't really know much about it. So and it was fun having Uncle Bud there because, you know, he, he knew so much about yeah. it. I mean, it was his dad. So it was it was great. So did you wear that uh, when you were at the game? Did we bring this? Did I bring this with me? I, yeah, we I, brought, I think uh, so. I think we had one. I think maybe during the game you didn't wear it because you didn't want to bother the people behind yeah, you. Yeah, it kind of takes up a lot of space. Mm -hmm. But but we, we definitely brought it to the, uh, when the Niners, when they played in San Francisco. Yeah. Um, when we were down on the field, we got interviewed. Yeah. Um, 
because it was so bizarre to have, you know, be in San Francisco, you know, us she's born and raised, you know, we should be Niners fans. I think that was actually, I think that was a Wisconsin or like a, a local was, Green Bay was, station. Yeah. yeah. So um, we were, we were wondering who was talking to us and interviewing us, and then uh, I think we figured out it was he came along with the team and interviewed us, and uh, <laughs> we got to talk to Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy. Well, oh, yeah. we didn't really talk to him. Yeah, McCarthy. he was. Yeah, he didn't talk much, but uh, he took a picture with us. Yeah, I bet he wasn't thrilled to see a couple thrilled, girls in <laughs> Brett Favre jerseys. You know, with uh, Brett Favre not on the team anymore, but yeah, he definitely. <laughs> Definitely stood out in that stadium that day. That's right. There weren't many cheeseheads. No. We got heckled the whole way in. Is that right? Oh, yeah. So all the people that are just tailgating, there we just, you know, we heard, go home. <laughs> or, like, people would start to chant, 49ers. And Kate and I were, like, clutching each other. Yeah. Like, we're just coming to support our team. Don't hurt us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was fun, though. It was and having boyfriends as Niner fans, you know. Yeah, that was a good little <laughs> yeah, that was rivalry, such, yeah. but unfortunately we didn't pull it out. Okay. <laughs> Preseason means nothing. Yeah. All right.